this video, I'm going to be talking about the different types that we can prepare cells and tissue to observe them under the microscope. These are the different types. So there are cell suspension, cell smears, tissue imprints, cells cultured on cover slips, frozen or cryostat sections, and paraffin wax embedded sections. These are the ones that I'm going to be talking about. Although I might not go into much detail on some of them. So first we have cell suspension. This um, allows us to see living cells, which are suspended in fluid. Um, we can use it in cultures, so here's an example of cultures. Body fluids and tissues. Body fluids such as blood, um, semen, etc. Tissues. Um, here's an example of cancer cell suspension. There are cell smears in which case we get living cells and smear them onto a clean glass slide. There are several ways to achieve them. In this picture we show two slices, one against the other, um, which causes a smear to happen. Again, it's used in cultures, body fluids and tissues. This is the example of a PAP, um, which is a cervical smear. Um, its advantage is that it's quick and easy to use, it's pretty simple. However, the disadvantage is that because we are smearing it onto a slide, it may cause some cell damage. And um, Next one is tissue imprint. This one's kind of like a stamp. We get fresh tissue and we just touch it on the, onto the slide and leave it to air dry and then we can observe it. This is an example of breast cancer. Um, an advantage is that it's rapid and simple, again, pretty quick, pretty straightforward. But the disadvantage is that, um, it's a, oh, well, this is kind of an advantage as well as a disadvantage. It gives us fair morphological detail, so that's good. However, there are other methods that can be used um, that may provide better imaging. However, this provides pretty okay image images. There are also cells cultured on cover slips. Now, I won't talk about this one, I just have a couple of pictures to illustrate it, but it's not necessary for me to know it for my course, so I won't be getting into details, otherwise I might just speak nonsense. These, um, the frozen cryostat sections. Um, a cryostat is a tissue slicing machine in a freezer cabinet. Cabinet. That's a spelling mistake, let me just fix that. Um, it's this kind of machine where it slices fresh tissue which has been frozen and it slices it into 5 to 15 micrometers thick sections so it's pretty thick and is air dried um, it allows this kind of images for example this is an example of the fallopian tube the advantages is that because it's frozen it preserves ephemeral lipid and delicate based antigens and it's pretty rapid it's pretty quick however the disadvantage is that Again, there are other methods that can allow us to get better morphological details, better shapes, better images. The last one that I'm going to be talking about is paraffin wax embedded sections. Um, this is an example of what it looks like. Basically, what happens is that we get a tissue and we fix it by processing it with wax. So technically, we just get the tissue and put it in wax. Um, it allows up to 5 micrometers thick slices, around 5 micrometers, and it's cut by a microtome and dried. The advantage is that it allows for indefinite preservation because of the wax. We can keep it as long as we want to. And good morphological detail. For example, we have an example of the skin. As you, we can see, there's, it's pretty good, the detailing of it. However, the disadvantage is that it's time-consuming. It's not that easy to preserve it in wax. And because preserving it in wax is a very... It's, it's, it's kind of, it can be a destructive process for some delicate base antigens, so it can cause some damage, and um, it loses lip, lipid-based antigens. So for the most delicate things, it's not that good. 